Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. For this video, we're going to continue on with our cross-platform native plugin playlist. And for this video, we're going to show you how to do achievements. All right, so first things first, we're going to go into the MP settings, and then we're going to go to the tutorial documentation. And then from here, we want to make sure that we're in the game services tab. And we're actually going to go to enabling services on native plugin. And then we're going to scroll down to the bottom of this page. And here we can see where it talks about creating achievements. And so to follow these instructions, we want to open up our Google Play console. We then want to go to game services, and then we're going to select our game. And then on the left hand column, we're going to select achievements. And then here you can see there's a button that says add achievement. So I'm going to click on that. And then we need to fill out all the information for each achievement that we want to create. And so for this first achievement, I'm going to give it the name 1 million points. You then want to fill out a description. You'll then need to attach an icon, which needs to be 512 by 512. For this achievement, I'm not going to mark incremental achievement. We also want to leave it revealed. You can then set how many points you want to award the player for unlocking this achievement. I'm just going to leave it at 5, and this is achievement 1 of 1. And then after we've set all of this information, we can scroll up to the top and click Save. This will take us back to this page here where we have the option to add more achievements by clicking the Add New Achievement button up at the top. But from here, let's go back to the documentation. So we just completed this first step. Now we need to make sure that we did the second step, which is that we need to remember the ID for each of our achievements. And so I'm going to go back to our Google Play Console and we can find the ID of each achievement right here. And also right here, if we select the achievement, and so I'm going to copy this ID and then we're going to go back to the documentation and we're going to select configuring plugin. We're then going to scroll down to achievement method collection. And this talks about how you set up the achievements in the native plugin. And so let's go back to Unity. And in our game services tab, we need to fill out the information for this first achievement. And so I'm going to make my achievement array size one. And then we need to give it a global ID. And so I'm going to call this one million points. And then for platforms, we need to increase the size to one, and we're going to set the platform to Android. And then we need to paste in the ID from our Google services. We can then set the number of steps to one, and that's everything that we need for the setup in the native plugin. From here, we're going to go back to the documentation, and we're going to go to the implementing features section, and then we're going to scroll down to achievements. And here it talks about everything that we need to do in order to code the achievements. And they have a number of different options. They have the option to fetch the achievements, to fetch the achievement description. But what we want to do is scroll down to where it says show achievement UI. And we're going to select this segment of code and we're going to copy it. Let's then go back to Unity and we're going to open up our My Game Services script. And here we want to then scroll down to the bottom and we're going to create a new function. And this function is going to be called show achievements. We're then going to paste in the segment of code. And this show achievements UI function just basically shows a default UI that displays all of the achievements for this game. And so let's save the script and then we'll go back to Unity. And I'm going to create a new menu button for my achievements. And so I'm going to duplicate one of my buttons and I'm going to rename it. I'm then going to give it a different color and I'm going to reposition it in the scene. We then need to assign the onClick function for this button to be our new show achievements function. And so I'm going to drag in the object that has the script attached to it. We're then going to use the drop down menu to look for the show achievements function. And I don't see it. And that's because I need to go back to my script and make this function public. So let's save the script. We'll go back to Unity. And now we'll look for that function. From here, we can then play our game. I'm then going to click login. And then we're going to click that new button for my achievements. And here you can see a default UI pop up that displays the achievement that we have in our game. So now that we can show the achievements, the next thing that we need to do is report our achievements. And so let's go back to the documentation and we're going to find the section on reporting progress. Now they have two segments of code right here, which talk about how to get the number of steps in case you have an incremental achievement. But what we want to do is get this larger segment of code and so we're going to select this and copy it. We're then going to go back to our script and we're going to create a new function. And this is going to be a public static function. That way we can call it from anywhere in our game. And I'm going to call this function report achievement. 
We're then going to paste in the segment of code and here you can see that we're receiving some errors and so I'm going to select this add new result I'm then going to hold alt and press enter and we're going to select the first option which is to create a new function I'm then going to do that for the second append result and here down at the bottom you can see those new functions next up we want to fix the errors that are occurring in the parameters of this function to fix these errors we can add parameters to our report achievements function the first one is going to be a string and we're going to call it achievement ID and then we're going to replace the first error and then for the second parameter we're going to create a double and we're going to call it report percent we're then going to replace that second error now you can see that we're receiving some other errors and to fix these errors we're also going to replace them with the parameters that we just created and so I'm going to replace this progress with report percent and we're going to replace achievement ID with our achievement ID parameter we can then scroll down to our append result and add new result functions and we're going to replace the default code inside these functions with the debug.log statement and we're just going to pass in the v parameter and once we have this we can then save this script and the next thing that we need to do is we need to find where in our code we want to call this function and so since our achievement is on when the player gets to 1 million points we want to find where in our script we are adding one to their score. And so here in my project, in this ball script, you can see where I'm adding to the my score variable with this plus plus. And so after this line of code, I'm going to call this report achievement function. We then need to go back to Unity and get the global ID from our NP settings for this achievement. So I'm gonna select that ID and I'm gonna copy it. And then we're gonna go back to our script and I'm going to paste it in as the first parameter for this function. For the second parameter, I'm then going to just pass in 100. We then need to add in an if statement around this line of code where we check to see if the my score variable is equal to 1 million. But for testing purposes, I'm actually going to change it to just be 1 so that when I get 1 point, I unlock this achievement. We can then save the script and we'll go back to Unity and I'm going to play through my project. And so here when I click play and I load into the multiplayer scene, if I shoot a ball and get a point, you can see up at the top that it says 1 million points is completed. So it looks like everything's working properly and so now I'd like to test it on a mobile device. But before we do that, we need to make sure that we publish our achievements and the changes that we've made to our game services. Alright, so here I have my project built out to my Android device. And when I click the achievements button, you can see here we have our 1 million points achievement and it's not complete. It says zero out of one. And so now when I go back and I click the play button, and I load into the multiplayer scene. If I were to launch a ball and then get a point, you can see that it pops up with our achievement is complete. And so now let's go back to the main menu and I'm going to select my achievements button. And so now you can see that we have one of one and we've completed our 1 million point achievement. All right, so that's everything that we're gonna show you in this lesson on how to do achievements using the cross-platform native plugin in Unity. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, then leave them in the comments below. And finally, make sure that you subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date with all our latest videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.